So what we are going to do, we'll start from easy, then medium, in the order they appeared in the contest. So let's try to solve the first problem. The first problem is you are given an array and you have to find whether any element n and its double exist or not. So in this case, like, and you have to return true or false. So in this case, 10 is there. If there was an element called 20, then I could say, hey, yeah, definitely something like that exists. Or if you see two, uh, there was a four, I would say, yes, it exists. For five, actually there is one 10, so it does exist. So we will return true. Similarly here for seven, you can see there is a 14, which is double of it exists. Here in the third example, there is nothing for three, like six is not there, for one, two is not there, for seven, 14 is not there, for 11, 22 is not there. So that's the problem. And do you have any doubt? If we are getting like a, a let's say five and 10 and two and four, so it still we need to return true only? If we are getting five and 10 and two and four, yes. If you have more, like, you know, pairs, mm -hmm. it's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, and only we are considering the even numbers, right? We are not uh, considering the like, uh, let's say 11 by five, that will give the something to, in this mill. So that we are not going to consider, right? Right, so uh, from the question point of view, if mm -hmm. you think 11 by five, when you see 11, you are looking for 22 you forget about the division for, for the time being because that's implementation detail. Mm -hmm. But from question's point of view, if you are looking at 11, mm -hmm. you are searching for 22. If you're looking at five, you are searching for 10. Okay, 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 okay. Got your point, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so that's the problem. And anybody try to solve it or has approach can come now. Yeah, so uh, look in this problem and I relate it to uh, one of the problem we did in the past, which is uh, the choose some problem. Okay. So this one we can, uh, you know, face this in terms of choose some. So mm -hmm. we have the, uh, <clears throat> we're looking for a, uh, a double value, right? So, uh, you know, what I'm thinking, uh, I'm going to put it to a, I iterate to the input and put it into a set. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, and I look up when I see the a, a, a value and I double that and look up the set. If there's a, such a value in a set, then I return true. Okay, let's do one thing. Like, uh, Let's go through one example. We will understand what you're doing. Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So let me take an example. And so the first example, uh, let me search. Is it 10, 2, 5, 3? Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. 10, 2, 5, 3. Yes. 10, 2, 5, 3. So let me write that here. 10, 2, 5, 3. So amazing line. What, what you were suggesting, what should I do now? It's a mute. Wait, wait. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, <clears throat> first, I create a set. Okay. And then uh, the first, uh, and I iterate through the input. Mm -hmm. First element I see is 10. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, I double 10 is 20. And then I look in the set. It's a 20 in the set because the set now is empty. Yep. So I put 10 in the set. Okay, so you got no and you put yeah. the set, the 10 in the set, okay. And uh, I, I, uh, to the next uh, element, number two, mm -hmm. I double that two times two is four, then look in the set, there's no uh, value in the set, then I put two in the set. Got it. I now go to five mm -hmm. and I double five is 10, and now I see 10 in the set and then I return true. Okay. Uh, look, so this should work for sure, I think. 
And what what about if we'll take an array element and let's say we are having index i and value b, and we can check that if either uh, b multiply by two or b divide by two is the rest in the array. So that way also we can check that way, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. We will go to that approach next, maybe. Uh, okay. So so for this amazing line, like your time complexity is O of n, right? Right. And the space complexity, we can still say O of n, right? Right. So the other approach, I think, is it Sukhen, you are you yeah, were approaching yeah. this, right? Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. So when you were saying, put it in an array, I think you still mean to put it in set because if you put anything in array, mm -hmm. checking whether that you know element or it's double whatever you are searching mm -hmm. will in itself become a like of an operation just to search whether something is in the array or not okay 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 i mean just i thought so i can share yeah. my thoughts yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah yeah so you are i think still thinking to use set mm -hmm. but what you are proposing mm -hmm. that hey like when i am looking at 10 mm -hmm. i will not only search for 20 mm -hmm. i can search for five as well, right? Right. That's so okay. So what will happen in that case? You started with ten. You search for these two guys, mm -hmm. and they were not there. So you will put it in the set anyway, right? Right. Then two came. Then you are looking for uh, four and one, right? Mm -hmm. They were not there. So you will put two in the set again. That is fine. When five came, then you are looking for 10 mm -hmm. and what? Are you looking for two? No, I'm only looking for that, like uh, either uh, divide by two or multiplication, yeah. <clears throat> so you are not looking, yeah, I'm just making sure that you are not looking here for two. Yeah. Because that no. would be wrong. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So you are basically looking for this two into anything is even. So that's not a problem, right? Right. But if we divide something by two, then we are not sure whether it will be an even number or not. So in case so that's, of, Yeah, that's why I'm saying that key, uh, that will only uh, uh, like uh, even, but if let's say I have 11 by two that is giving the 5.5. So mm -hmm. that is not the integer, right? So it will right. be only look for the, like uh, if uh, B percentage two equal to zero, then right. only that will be uh, workable. Yes. Yeah. Double double value exist. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> right. So when you are doing that, you are doing both operation and you check whether if it is an even, mm -hmm. then do this operation, like, you know, division, otherwise okay. don't search for it. Yes, right. that's correct. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so that works. And actually um, that is a better way, though complexity wise it's same, mm -hmm. but why it is better because you may get your elements faster in general right right because like you know uh, otherwise you will put a lot of elements and uh, then that will get paired up later mm -hmm. which you can you know get sooner if you do that so yeah. time complexity wise and space complexity wise still same but like this is a slightly better approach i would say any other approach anyone try so, so on the second approach, yeah. when we put the uh, in the uh, array, uh, then we we have to sort it. Or it's not set. It's not array. Sorry, he's still using set only. The oh, okay. Which you were using. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We talked about it. Okay. What well, What if the the array has an element uh, uh, which is value is zero? If you uh, use a set and uh, put the zero to the set, but it, it is the only zero in the array. So the return uh, result will, will be false. So so whoever asked this one, that was my next question to ask. So yeah, it's, <laughs> a, it's a very good thing. Whenever yeah. you are putting anything in an array, sorry, in a set, mm -hmm. you know, especially with zero, be aware, like it's an, a special case with set. It yes. will tell you that, hey, I do exist, but you, if you're looking for an pair, 
Mm-hmm. Anything multiplied by zero is yeah, zero. Is. But I don't think is is the number all positive or not? I don't. I haven't checked the bound of the number. It's actually, yeah, it can be zero. Okay. Yes. I yes. think it uh, even if it's zero, it's still working, right? Because uh, what we do is like from my first approach, uh, I double the value first, and then look up the set. So, you know, if this is the first zero, then when I double that, I look at the set and the set is empty. So I put zero in there. So the question okay. is, if this is the input, do we return true or false? We return false. We return false. Yeah. But, oh, okay. Okay, okay. So what, what we are going to do here, like suppose three, zero, five seven what he's saying that okay it will work because you know you put three then when he went to check zero actually there was no pair for zero so you put it here so this guy will only get checked next when there is another zero right right yeah so that will still work i think so yeah mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay. It just make it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, it makes sense because we are processing in that particular order. But I really liked uh, um, the person who suggested that that when you put zero in the set, uh, make sure that you know that you you are not like you know pairing it with itself, and that I think you can do it for any number in this particular. So for zero, we are not getting any double, right? Yeah. True. Okay, so that's the first problem. Anyone tried anything else or we can move to the next one? I think we are all 